Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forwind here on the new Rule Britannia Immersion Pack for Europa Universalist. So uh, even though I've just done it recently, um, a Let's Play on England I mean, uh, I'm going to do another one for the time being. But uh, first I think I would run over some of the changes in this new um, Immersion Pack. So first of all, people who've played Europa a lot, will notice that the lands around um, the Lowlands, England, and France, not to mention Ireland, and Scotland are all very different. So essentially this whole area. Um, Brittany has now been split up into several more provinces. Paris is no longer the border with uh, everybody else around it, which is nice. And uh, England's got quite a few more provinces. Scotland's gained a handful too, which is nice. The East and West March provinces, which hopefully will help keep them a bit more secure. Not if I invade them. Also, there's quite a few more Irish. They're quite a bit more developed. And uh, they've all got national ideas, which is kind of cool. Um, as England, England has been reworked with national ideas. Uh, you get English traditions, national one negative unrest, plus 10% infantry combat. Uh, the standard Royal Navy, heavy ship, yearly tradition, production, diplomatic relations, trade efficiency. But then we got red coats, land fire damage, and I think the English Bill of Rights might be new. I could be wrong. Um, of course, Great Britain, which we can form, but I don't know if I will, has completely different missions um, and ideas. So uh, I think I actually might have the same missions, but as different ideas. And speaking of missions, they have been completely reworked. Um, now a bit more of a conditional thing. Uh, essentially, you don't need to accept them, it looks like. It looks like you can just select it once it fires, um, once it completes the mission. So for example, this one, War of the Roses, is going to trigger with the War of the Roses disaster or reach the Age of Reformation without triggering it. I also have the Hundred Years' War over here, Levy the Troops, which essentially sends me off to conquer Scotland. Uh, Maritime Empire, which essentially gives us a claim on taking Gibraltar, which is kind of interesting. Um, we also have Naval Doctrine. It's where the English, um, I believe we can just go straight to Wooden Wall. I don't believe anyone else can do Wooden Wall. It gives us Naval Combat abil uh, ability, essentially, off the borders of our own provinces. So I'm going to probably take that pretty much immediately, especially if we're going to attempt to fight France in the Hundred Years' War. I don't know what we're going to do on that front, actually. Um, we do have this mission strategic control. So this one f over here, surrender of mains, fires if we either return mains or go to war with France. If we go to war with France, we'll be fighting all France's allies, too. I'm not entirely sure. But then we can do strategic control if we've completed 100 years war and we control their capital. And then we can push further and further. See, also, now when we click on missions, it tells us what provinces we need to control. For example, take Gibraltar. If I hover over it, um, I think, actually, uh, really? Oh, I guess I can't select it right now because I don't actually have the ability to do that mission. So that's a bit new. Um, everything else is fairly the same for England, although there's new innovative stuff. Being ahead in tech will gain us bonus innovative. And if you go up, it will decrease power costs, seeing as where England's, and England was known for its scientific lead, we will attempt to be that leader. However, we are stuck with the stupid King Henry of Lancaster, and so that is going to be quite an issue. So let's see who we can get as allies. Well, we can get definitely Castile as an ally, which is definitely worth it. Uh, we already have Portugal as an ally. Let's do a royal marriage with them. Burgundy hates us. Um, let's actually check our rivals now that I think about it. Let's rival Scotland, France, and Burgundy. And I think that's a new piece of music playing in the background. I haven't heard that one. Piper, lead your clansmen. Yep, that's a new one. Cool. So, uh, two few seats in Parliament. Let's get this all started. I know I said I wasn't going to come back to Europa for a while, but seeing as they have a new expansion, I felt kind of pressed to do so. So, um, seat in Parliament. How many more do we have to give out? One more. 
Um, let's give it to Oxford. I don't know actually know where it is. I was looking for Parliament seats, but I don't know if it actually gives us a modifier for that. No, just gives us government types. We are the, still the same government, the English monarchy, so we actually have negative two unrest just from existing as England, which is rather strong if I think about it. Um, let's see. Do we want to try and fight them, the French, before the Hundred Years' War or... I'm uh, sorry, before the War of the Roses or after the War of the Roses? Question. Uh, how strong is France? Oh, by the way, they readjusted it, so France is actually bigger than England at the beginning of the game, which is... Quite a relief. Um, let's check military. Just so I know if I could fight France. I cannot fight France without allies. Okay, fair enough. That means I can safely leave my army in England. And I will do a nationwide census. Every development thing is better. We will do military support. There we go. Derby got one. There's Derby. There's Derby. Okay. So, um, I guess I will pass this naval doctor in the wooden wall. And start from there. The steel has accepted it. What a surprise. How's our sailors doing? We're not actually wasting too many sailors, so I think it might be safe to put this fleet out to hunt enemy fleets in the North Atlantic. Let's see. Yep, we still have a net gain. Now the issue is, what do I want to do with Scotland? <sighs> I could feed them land. I'm thinking I might feed them land. Who's better off? Leinster's not too great. Tyrone is... Infantry combat ability. They might actually be worth keeping around. I think I'll decline that and vassalize these guys. See how that goes. Um, Royal Manager of Castile. Anyone else want an alliance with me? I could probably get one with Austria. Burgundy, of course, is still going to hate us for quite some time. Interesting, all the new provinces they've added. There's also new achievements, which I will definitely try and snag as time goes on. Um, let's improve relations with you, buddies. Set one of you to neighboring countries. and see where that light leads us in the long run. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to be able to beat France that easily. It's always a matter of luck taking out France, I found. Could probably get an alliance with Brittany. Would that be worth it? No, because it put me over my limit. Oh, we have a new heir, though. Oh, wow. Um, can be stopped. Okay. Looks like the Lancaster dynasty might actually survive for a time. Of course, we have to deal with the fact that our ruler is a complete moron for the next, like, 10 years, or 20 years, or 30 years, or 40 years till he dies. Okay, what is this? Advancement of Religion Act. Uh, no. We are going to try and go um, the Envy in Religion or whatever when I get a chance. Um... Actually, the Anglican religion. Sorry, I was thinking of the mission. Well, there's one here, which is restore the Anvian Empire, which essentially is conquer France, pretty much. Look at these. There's quite a few ones here that look quite interesting. Hundred Years War, War of Roses, but also um, there's other ones. We will surrender Mainz. Sadly, we will surrender Mainz. I think I'm also going to... We fulfill the mission... Yeah, we've had a permanent claim on the French region. Claim is permanent will never expire. That is nice. Um, let's just give the clergy some terrible province in the middle of nowhere. Oh, they want more. Thanks. They still want more. Ay, ay, ay. Let's give them all of Wales, pretty much. So let's do the standard stuff to try and get power. Support the clergy, demand admin. Monopoly charger, charters, whatever. There we go. At least now I can stabilize the empire a little bit. So now if I were to attack France, 
I'd have a little bit better shot of beating them, but I don't obviously have the ability to call allies to war. That's going to be annoying. There's also knowledge sharing, which will be kind of cool. Um, specifically in terms of getting institutions, although we're England, so we really shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Uh, how is our force limit? Should raise some more troops. Okay. And wants me to make a state. The Scottish marches. I uh, don't think so right now. Kind of dislike the fact that as England you do not have nobility. It's kind of nice, but it's also kind of a pain. Okay, Parliament's happy. Papacy is happy for the time being. Although we are going to have the Lollards event, right? At some point. We'll have the Lollards. Kind of hope that Henry Lancaster dies relatively soon. That we can get Henry V of Lancaster on the throne. I guess. Um, no, it's not a range of ball. We are broke. We have nothing to spend. For now, we're the sick person of Europe. I find it funny that Henry's so incompetent, yet he is a bold fighter. Strange things. Let's go talk to Tyrone a bit, because we need to get that vassalage going. Spend the time now that we're not going to face the War of the Roses to try and conquer Ireland quicker. Oh, I can even steer trade. There we go. I forgot that that's a thing. Oops, something just happened. I believe France just got claims on my territories, probably. And then we will do offer military access, or ask for military access. Interesting, they don't want military access. Hmm. I still can vassalize these guys, right? Yeah. By a large margin, okay. Do a brief influence, and then I think I can send them a gift, and then that will be the beginning of rebuilding my Scottish, uh, my Irish Empire. Yeah. Okay, France is at war with Brittany. Interesting. What war was this over? Just French conquest of Nantes. Okay. For now, let's just build up our empire. Got nothing else we can do. Yep. They are now a vassal. Um, oh, you're allied to the Scots. Who can I eliminate? You're allied with Leinster. Okay, you might be a target. Leinster's allied with Offaly and Silgo. Actually, let's check my vassal. They do have two claims. A claim on this province and other ones. So where's my fleet? Let's go help them in that war. We'll send Richard Plain Tangent to conquer Ireland. I mean, why not, right? I'm interested in to see this uh, interesting uh, new vassal there, which is uh, the islands. Of course, I could also release the vassal Mains, or Isle of Man, which is right there. Obviously, I'm not going to do so, um, but let's start these wars. Yes. I should be able to take Leinster for myself. I mean, these are going to be some pretty easy wars right here. Ireland's not what you'd call very hard to conquer for the English, despite the fact historically it was quite a pain for them. <laughs> They kept getting kicked out of Ireland for till modern day when they did get kicked out of most of Ireland. There we go. Boost that. How are we doing? Obviously, we're going to be far behind in innovative. Interesting to see how high we can get innovation. I don't think there's actually an achievement for that. 
No, but there's quite a few other achievements we can try and get. 50 innovativeness wants us to get. Specifically, I'm going to try and get the industrial evolution. Anglophile would be really hard. I'd like to. Chop Chop is a possibility. Bright Spark is a possibility. Dude, where's my boat? It's also very possible. Oh, what is this? Other priorities than nepotism. Industrial powerhouse we'd also like to snag. I don't really know what else we can do. A lot of these are not really great for England, per se. They're just out there anyhow. Okay, France is conquering Brittany. Let's see, Navarra is a vassal of Castile. Perfect. Castile does like us. Portugal really does like us too. Austria likes us a little bit less in terms of favors, which is fine. Let's see, got to check up on how our trade is flowing. Trade seems to be going fairly well. Uh oh, that's a problem. The Pope is Popple Controller, though. Okay, they do like me. I can't really afford to fight France for a while, then. They're Popple Controller. Curious what other countries' missions look like. I really only jumped straight in to play England, so. Isle of Man. Interesting. Independent nation. Highlander, so that's Scottish culture. Huh. Would not have guessed that. At least it makes sense, because it was owned by the Isles, but... A little bit strange. Uh, let's transfer control to Tyrone. I mean, I guess I could take it for myself. Yeah, I might as well take it for myself. They, it, as great as getting vassals are, it's really hard to actually properly transfer the uh, control of the provinces in terms of making claims. I mean, I could, could give it to them, but look how many provinces it borders. We might actually get ahead of time in Diplotech at some point. Oh, the tech level was already reached in 1444. Interesting. So it tells us when the tech level was reached. Kind of a neat little feature. Um, do you fabricate claim? Cancel building there. Take both of you. Good land. Also, they nerfed how much money you can get in peace deals. It's a little annoying, but I guess it makes sense. It was too strong. And then we will attack you. And that's Silgo. Where's Silgo? Right there. Oh, okay. That's fine with me. There should be some pretty quick and easy wars here. Well, if Heron is going to siege that province for me, I guess I'll just sit back and let them do so. I do need to rebuild my manpower, though, to get a mission. Alice York. Why do I have Alice? Oh, that's... Oh, huh. I actually have a female in my government. To levy the troops, I need 100% arm size and manpower limit of 60%. Obviously, our manpower is a lot lower than it should be, and we're four troops short. Oh, well, that's correctable in the long run. France pretty much just wiped out Brittany. Can we form a coalition against them? No, we can't. Darn. Well, that's a problem. France just got a lot stronger. And I believe they probably have permanent claims on all my provinces. They do. It'd have to last 200 years before they'd actually let me go. That's a pain. Okay. War is raging. Scotland is kind of just sitting there for now. Probably going to integrate uh, 
the Isles pretty soon. Not that that gets them that much. What does it give them, like, two provinces? Yeah, six development. Oh, well. I mean, it makes sense for them. Okay, London, money, everything else. Good. I'm going to be interested to see how the English ideas come out. I think there was also changes to ideas. Yeah, there was. They decreased the land maintenance modifier bonus some um, because it was too big. Now it's only 5%, not 10%. Surprised there isn't any bonus towards like innovation in the innovation tree. Maybe there's a uh, policy. Let me check. It uh, doesn't appear to be. Okay. Well, on that note, that is it for this episode. And uh, I will be continuing this Let's Play if people are vaguely interested in it. Um, I'm kind of interested in trying to build the English Empire along the missions. So, like, take Gibraltar, take Egypt. Um, what were the other ones? There was quite a few other missions. Oh, yeah. Conquer, obviously, France. And uh, Mediterranean, conquer some Malta, Crete, Cyprus, obviously conquer Scotland, conquer Brittany, seize Burgundy, colonize Caribbean, New World. I'm surprised there isn't anything about invade India. Uh, but there's stuff like conquer the Hansadic League, which would be interesting because that's the entire HRE. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So thank you guys all for watching. And... Uh, Please continue to watch and subscribe if you do enjoy this. Bye for now.